working with electricity while it's raining outside using none of the proper equipment pretty sure this is how doc brown got marty mcfly back to 1985 what's comedy what you got some comedy huh? you want a comedy it's what? what's in comedy all right for this basic electrical setup you're going to want to have your batteries going to your inverter your inverter going to your outlet your outlet going to your light switch light switch to light one light one to light two all right i know whenever i watch other van lifers do this as soon as they start getting into the numbers all of that jargon went flying over my head so i'm going to try to break this down as simple as possible um, in here i've got two batteries they are deep cycle 12 volt 100 amp hours what does that mean the way these bad boys are connected gray cable going from positive of battery one to gray cable going to positive of battery two black cable i know there's two of them so it's a little bit confusing but trust me one of the black cables goes from the negative of battery one to the negative of battery two. As far as my understanding goes, this syncs up the battery. So if you're charging one, you're charging both. If you're draining one, you're draining both. All right, so now that we've covered the cables syncing them up, each of the two batteries have another set of cables coming off the positive and negative. So I bought a charger that you see right here, um, the NOCO Genius 10. Um, he sold it to me because he was like, this guy needs help. Uh, so I'm going to give you this genius charger. Uh, what it came with was this charger itself. Um, it's got a little plug right here. So you can plug it into um, like your campsite that you're going to. Or if, you've got, if you're like me and you've thought ahead, and you got a little uh, uh, adapter that goes into your car. You can plug it in here and boom. Now you're charging your batteries while you're driving. So that cable comes underneath my beautiful floor job, underneath my beautiful cabinetry. So it's coming around, coming around, and boom. The red eyelet into the positive prong of the battery. I don't know if they're called prongs. Um, <laughs> that's what I've been calling them. And the black one into the uh, uh, black prong of the battery. Now, that Genius 10 charger didn't come with these, they call them eyelets. So the charger actually came with this which is great for temporary solutions and i actually used already because i accidentally killed the battery to my van um, so i was able to um, switch out the eyelets which is great with this charger um, because right here you can detach this so this side um uh is the cable going towards the eyelets that are then attached on to this battery this side is what goes over to the charger and into that plug so if I ever had to, I can reattach this cable so conveniently to this bad boy. And all of a sudden I got alligator clips um, that could uh, be used on any battery temporarily. That covers our top battery and what's going on there. The bottom battery, same thing as above. Okay, so that's the negative and deep in the back there. Bring it into focus. Come on. Yeah, that's the positive. Both of them have the other side of the jumper cables that I mentioned earlier that are syncing up the batteries. The other cable that's coming off of it is um, on both sides, on both prongs, is flying over here. By the way, do you like these uh, little tassels that are keeping all of my cabinetry closed? Shout out to my brother-in-law, Matt Peck. I'll put his uh, Facebook page below. He friggin' forged them. It sounds like something that, that uh, an orc does in Lord of the Rings. I'm not even exactly sure what that means, but it creates these beautiful leaf-like latches um, that are now housing uh, my cabinetry and keeping them closed so I don't bust some stuff when I'm driving. Okay, so both of those cables that I mentioned earlier, bam, up into this inverter. Apparently this thing can power my fridge and like I said, an outlet and lights and that is all I need. Up top of the inverter, we got our uh, fridge. That's not a fridge. This is a uh, is the fridge plug. The fridge plug, which is running this bad boy right here. So when we turn the inverter on, you hear the, the uh, fan kick on there um, because our fridge is plugged in. This guy's now getting a little bit colder. This plug right here runs behind the battery up the wall, through the roof, through this wall, and then charges this outlet right here. 
Um, so that gives me two plugs and two USBs right beside the bed. The other wire runs from this outlet through the wall, through the roof, to this light switch right here that when you flick, turns on not one, but both lights. Um, I desperately wanted a, uh, desperately, I originally had a um, dimmer switch there, but it was causing the lights to uh, do this. So that was driving me absolutely insane. So you haven't gotten my genuine first time reaction of the lights working or of the fridge working. However, I haven't tested out this power outlet yet. I'm gonna do that right now using something that I know can suck a whack load of power. And that is of course, the Sega Game Gear. The Sega Game Gear needed six double A's to run. And even if you had those completely charged and they were energizers, this thing would still only run for 13 minutes. I figured this system's the best way to test my outlet because this bad boy draws more power than a frat house developing an app in Silicon Valley. Let's see how she does. Ha <laughs> ha, buddy. I'm never leaving this van. Come on, Hey, you watching this? You're already supporting me, so thank you. You're the best. If you want to go a little bit extra, and it's not that hard, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and send this video to a friend. Be like, hey man, check this guy out. He is hilarious. This van is nearly finished. Mo's almost done. Next week, though, I'm going to show you how I did this beautiful countertop and sink and all of the plumbing. So tune in next week to see how that turns out. Thank you for watching.